So Josh Krasilowski says, why a square sub? Very good question. Uh, square sub, the whole point is more surface area. As we know, a speaker is a piston, and it, they're technically called a transducer. That means it changes forms of energy. They change electrical energy into mechanical energy. So as a transducer, if you're trying to move more air to get more output, you need more cone areas to get bigger and bigger. What we've decided to do is rather than make it bigger that way, we're just going to not cut the corners off the speaker, which gives you anywhere from 20 to 23% more cone area, which means more output overall. Now, not only do you get more output on a single driver, but when you put multiple drivers together, so if we were to take as an example here, these two and put them close together and put another one here, you don't have a lot of space in between the woofers like you do with round speakers. So by having square woofers and grouping them together, you get better mutual coupling, which means you get even more output. So there's a, a, a great mechanical reason for doing that. And once again, it does not matter the shape. Um, that was a, one of the fun things I used to hear from uh, other dealers like, oh, it's a square speaker. I hear, you know, it produces square wave. Well, if you send a square wave signal to it, yes, it will produce a square wave. But it does not mean that it only produces square waves. Uh, one of the examples I like to give, if you take a brick, now we all know bricks are square, take that and you throw it in the lake, you don't get square ripples that come out from that, they are round. So if you talk about the speaker itself, sound starts from this plane right here, you can't tell what shape that is. It's just going to move air. So it does not matter the shape of the speaker. As long as that cone is strong, you're going to get great performance. And to make sure we got great performance in that cone, it uses a three millimeter thick non-pressed paper pulp cone. The non-pressed paper pulp makes sure it's extremely light. By keeping it very thick, that three millimeter cone, it's extremely strong. So great question.